come over stat. Something happened? Yeah. Just come. streets and when Waco says golden, it's usually a turd wrapped in crepe paper. It's a sticky situation. So what's the spec? Being proven guilty, meaning he deserves to die, truly? Do I look like a criminal prosecutor to you? What did he do, exactly? I'm not a beat reporter, neither. You want the job or not? All right, I'm in. Good. Client will be waiting for you by a car at the corner of 6th and Brandon. Huh. In a car? Client wants to tag along. Be there in person when you put a bullet through the guy's eye. Good luck. What's up? herself to express her undying gratitude to you. Stop talking. I was... I was only gone an hour. How'd this happen? I don't know. I told you. Evie was lying in bed like always. When I went out. And I got back to... <laughs> Fuck. If I'd just known, I'd... Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. 
Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Not sure we should move her before the badges get here. She's just another dead whore to them. Nobody will care. The least we can do is treat her with some dignity. I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow. No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you. If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. <sighs> They'll be here soon. Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? You know, to you, she was your best friend, so it's a terrible tragedy. But they must get dozens of calls like this every day. What are you? Their fucking PR rep? No, just saying. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. I'm a cig. Didn't know you smoked. <sighs> Quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Here. That was her smoke case. Want to hold on to it? No. He seemed to like it. Keep it. Kind of glad it's you that has it, actually. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. Stay strong, Judy. Don't let this tear you down. You know what? Let's just not say anything for a minute, okay? In her condition, couldn't think about anything else. Tech-wise, she was clean. Doll Shard was operational, uncorrupted. So, psychological trauma had to be that. Did some more digging in her virtues, found Woodman. He kept her, and had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. Saw him as your average tricksy sleazebag. He puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. 
Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Sue's. Thanks, V. Sorry. But, uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. I, I'm not gonna fucking rat you out! What's your problem? So quickly, my friends, I see only one logical explanation. Those AIs expect a big boost in demand for orbital flights in the very near future.
It is good to see you, V. Seems pretty, uh... Secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. What the hell happened? You look close to awful. You see a man robbed of his implants, money, and dignity. Look well. It is not all bad. I am mostly unnoticed in the streets. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at anchor in the bay? Saburo's daughter? Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. Sure you can trust him? Yes. <laughs> Convincing. Very. I have nothing to lose. Is that better? Worse. Cause I got plenty to lose. Keep them quiet. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. Takemura-san. Oda. Is this him? Your thief. He's my witness, V. Can't speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Not gonna like what I'm about to say. I need a guarantee I'm safe here. You are, you have it. B, you can trust Oda. All right then. Compeki Plaza. I was there the night it happened. Looked like your typical family quarrel until Yorinobu lunged at Saburo and started Silence! Choking. Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe. In this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama. Most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. I'm but you right can't here. ignore the truth. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor. Sorry, but this gonna take much longer? I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to your Inabu Sama. What would you do now? Were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu-sama. Consider yourself Oda. Raki. What? We're talking about a guy who killed his father to seize control of Arasaka. Gonna take an interest in this or not? I will not. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful. My friend, we are all so far from home. Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. No way this is gonna work. Hmm. Yet, we woke away with a small measure of success. How do you figure that? 
What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps. If somehow we can get to Hanako-sama, we must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? Uh, hang on. Not so fast. You can sound as easy as hacking a schism. You said yourself, Hanako's got the tightest security in all Night City. Correct. That is why I wish for you to contact us with the local fixer. No, just the fixer dame. Wakaku Akata. Runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? cooking dinner. Oh, well, if we're getting specific, I was nuking a half-eaten burrito I found wedged in my couch cushions. Yeah, yeah, I know I shouldn't have. After all, I heard microwaves zap out all the nutrients, but hey, it kills the cockroaches too, so, you know, you win some, you lose some. Anyway, what was I? Right, the power outage. Apparently some plant out in Santo short cert. Heard the EMPs were knocking AVs out of the sky. JG Street. What is this name? <laughs> Just a night city name. Beware, you mock me too often. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only, Only what, what I, I can surmise, surmise from, from what, what I see on TV. TV. Your Yoyo Yoyo Bale Bale is puppets green at, at the cameras and, and insists that, that everything is under control. control. But the wider the, the spy, the bigger, bigger the lies. You all right, Goro? Yes. yes. Why is that a concern? I'm just asking. Is everything with you have to have an ulterior motive? I apologize. That, that came, came off wrong. wrong. I am... I am simply not, not used to such questions. questions. People like, like me, either, either we, we are, are doing, doing well, well, or we are, we are in a grave. grave.
What do you want, friend? Hmm, how I miss the sound. Rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. V, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together. That's all. Takemura Goro des. Okada san, oai dekite de koe des. Ha, a true gentleman. Ah, oh, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Would have already made the call if you intended to. Simple. You're curious to see what we got. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka. Again. What I fail to understand is... Why come to me? Did Mr. Deshaun not come to the phone? Arasaka, Tiger Claws. Kind of like the family dog screwing the cat, huh? Can't possibly be fond of the people who killed your grandkid. That was very long ago. Time's the best healer? A wound like that, though. A wound like that, no. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi Platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, a guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old, automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japantown, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Thanks, Wukako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. A delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Stay safe, Goro. You as well. Until next time.
It's a good thing you answered. I could probably use your help. Probably. V, welcome Fine. to Pacifica. I could really use your help. Quick on the dial. Can we meet? Got here. That's the biz. Be in touch. Just tell me when and where. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Swing by the old Caldos camp. I'll explain it all. The Alde Caldos. Thought you parted ways. Oh, look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here. V, it's good you're here. What happened? Spit it out. The Wraiths took Saul. 
the Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure it was wraiths? We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Saul. I don't know why, but I felt I could count on you. Always Pan Am. You and me are chooms. Thought that was clear. Careful, or I'll start believing that. You won't be able to get rid of me. I'll survive, I'm sure. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grod. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Well, I'll be. Pan Am and V, what's going on there? Him? After what happened to Scorpion, he shows up here? Guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Pan Am. Seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Huh. Never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Okay, how you want to do this? Quietly. An open assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up the recon. You'll sneak into the Wraith's camp while I cover you. Wait. Meaning it's just gonna be us two? What about all you guys? Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek. Static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find or... The leader gets nabbed and you, what, hope for the best? Rather than I think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! He has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look or would you rather keep mouthing off? Mitch, how you been? Wishing duct tape could right all the world's wrongs. And hey, it shouldn't be me occupying your thoughts, but Saul. You taking a look or not? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time... Do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in. Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections. Do you see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building, there. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. 
like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local camnet. You would just need to find the control room. Skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay, got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Yep. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. Solid job. I mostly improvised, actually. Either way, it'll have to do. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet. A rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him out of my back. So that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. One me driving. Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. Spin if you like. He let himself get captured. Anyone else? But Saul? You said yourself he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Opening the valves? Cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the Saul I remember. All that are idols. I know. It's just. Is one hell of a storm looking bad oh it's bad in more than its look we have to move quickly okay let's go over the plan again you slip into the rates camp we need to hide the car park beside that outcrop okay out I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight 
You just watch yourself down there. I'm in position. I have you in range.
Hijacking a petrochem tanker? That's the song I remember. All that are idols. I know. It's just... that out front. Okay, out. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. You just watch yourself down there.
Keep your I eyes peeled. See I see close. several heavy hitters. Just wait. Nothing to see, just wait. That's it! Do You're that mine game. now! Damn it, V! So much for being sly. Find Saul and you two get out of there! find you, you know. And when I do... <laughs>
Gotta reload!
Game on!
is he? Breathing? I think so. Good. Grab him and get out of there. Saul. Do... do... do you have my goddamn cigar? Easy, Saul. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am? But... she left. Not forever. I'm gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. You're pretty badly beat. Probably could use this. Uh, oh, yeah. So, how is he? Time to don my dancing shoes. He'll live. Now get yourselves out of there. Middle of a shitstorm down here. Brewing to be a Category 5. Right, no, get out of the building. I'll be right there. Brace yourselves. Am, you're making a mistake. Another you're one. You're serious right now? Those devils wanted to know our location. If we drive to camp now, you'll just be setting the table for them. You look outside lately. The storm will wipe our tracks. And the scent of blood? What? We got more chomping at our tail. Fuck. Shake him! That's one way to treat an engine. Fuck off, Saul. I can't squeeze any more out of it! Cut off that tail! Get ready! Neutralize him! All the call dogs! Out there. I remember this place. 
It should be safe, at least for now. Inside, quick! I need to catch my breath. Just in time for dinner. Not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, V? I'll search in here. A lot of useful things. The angles left in a hurry. Biotechnica made them a good offer. Yes. Right. Sell us your land. You don't know that. No backhoe loaders ever showed up. Lousy problem to get them out. Hey, good work! We have lights! Damn, it's getting cold. I tried to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this junk burning. Right. Give me a sec. Thank you. If Saul freezes to death, it will have been a wasted day. See what I see? Expiration date's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? Go on, get off your feet. It could be ours. No, no lecture. But we do need to talk. That raid's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. Our camp locations, routes, offloading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. <sighs> it's not the time for this. You're both exhausted. Maybe you're right. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? Vade, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. I gotta agree with Pan Am. Sounds like a truly shitty idea. Thanks. What could you possibly know about it? You know what I always liked about nomads? Your taste. No, your hunger for freedom. It's not easy to come by in Night City. The corpse got their grubby claws and everything. And I just can't believe you'd hand them what you hold to be most precious. Thank you, V. I could not have said it better. We've had our spats. A few. Like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. 
Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. Damn, I love that word. Whoa, what was that about? Probably the meds talking. I sure hope so. I think he took a few solid hits to his skull. <laughs> Funny. What is? I rarely sleep with a roof overhead, yet this will be the second time with you. When you're on the road, day into night into day, your butt basically fusing with your seat. You forget what it's like. And? You think this is any better? No, just different. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? The fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am. Mm hmm. I couldn't ask for more. Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them, I'd fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? And what did you have in mind? Got a few ideas. I think you know what kind. Uh... <clears throat> the... No. It's really nice as is. Let's not spoil it, okay? I... I I'm, I'm sorry. Didn't know what I was thinking. No, it's fine. Truly. Don't let it worry you. Right. So, friends, then. V, I'm glad you came. Really. Thanks. It meant a lot to me. Ooh, do you hear that? No. Mm -hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plain, I sure can't get any shut eye. Not a wink. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. Look who's alive. Hey, did you sleep all right? Good work, V. Old style raid. Hey, you gotta agree now. Next time, I choose the motel. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. Hang on. I thought you were headed back to the Alicaldos. Staying with the clan. That remains so. Come on. Last night, when we were talking to Saul, thanks for standing up for me. Though, one thing. The wraiths, the raid. It's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Hmm. 